Shep, it could mean that Hollywood has to take a new approach to negotiating with top talent now that films don't always go exclusively to theaters as they used to. Scarlett Johansson alleging that Disney breached her contract, saying she was guaranteed an exclusive theatrical release and that her salary was based on the film's box office performance. Black Widow grossed $80 million at the U.S. box office opening weekend and another $78 million overseas, plus $60 million from at-home purchases. But the box office fell 68% in the second weekend. That's the biggest ever drop for a Marvel movie, which Scarlett Johansson says was because the home option cannibalized ticket sales. There's no question that a theatrical first release and an exclusive theatrical release generally has the best chance for success, for bringing in those big dollars around the world. Johansson's attorney saying, quote, it's no secret that Disney is releasing films like Black Widow directly onto Disney Plus to increase subscribers and thereby boost the company's stock price. But Disney countering, saying, quote, there is no merit whatsoever to this filing. The lawsuit is especially sad and distressing in its callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Disney has fully complied with Ms. Johansson's contract. And furthermore, the release of Black Widow on Disney Plus with Premier Access has significantly enhanced her ability to earn additional compensation on top of the $20 million she has received to date. Going forward, we could see studios increasingly look to compensate stars based on streaming performance or to pay up front, regardless of where a film is released or how it performs. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.